It's four past five, good afternoon. Quick explanation, I'm doing a live stream right now to DLive. I'm taking these cans off because for the next four minutes, I want to explain a question and how I'm getting around something on OBS. The question I've had is, how do you get audio out of OBS when you're using full screen projector mode? You know, when you want to send what's on OBS through your HDMI cable onto a secondary display? Well, that for some reason, OBS disable the audio. It's kind of sucky, actually. HDMI carries audio and video, but when you do it through OBS, right click onto the preview, full screen projector in brackets preview mode, doesn't get audio. There is a workaround. You're gonna need a little bit of tech though. The tech you're gonna need is called a audio embedder or de-embedder. Now, most of these do both. They remove audio or they add audio. So I'll just explain this quickly to you. It's upside down, that's cool. On the one side here, you've got HDMI, which is, this is the out, right? So this is what's coming out. I probably should have gone from the in first. This signal here would go out of your HDMI port on your computer. On my case, a MacBook Pro, which is through a dongle. And then when you're outputting through OBS, that goes straight into here. And then it goes straight through this device and out the other side, and then you plug that into whatever the device is, maybe a television, could be a live view solo like it is for me. Of course, there's no audio at that point, which sucks. So what this device does is it takes an audio source in through a regular audio jack. So you'd plug this into your audio output of your, your sound device or even your laptop directly, plug that out. That goes into this device and then simply sends out both through the HDMI cable. Perfect, right? That's how it works. Of course, when you're a live stream, when you are live streaming, you need to hear the audio. So what I've got, a little sneaky workaround here, I've got a splitter here, one to two. So you just plug this together here and then you put your Kansas plug these into the other side. So therefore you can still hear the stream. Everything's going through here. Now there's another cable on here, which you might've seen. It's this guy here. All that is, is a power supply. So this thing does need mains power. It's a lot of tech just to get the audio back into the HDMI signal. But unfortunately, like I said, OBS removed that audio source for some reason. I don't know why. This is one way to get around it. This device, like I said, it's an embedder or a splitter. So you can also take audio out of a HDMI signal and just get the video. You got a couple of different dip switches here. You can flick to change whatever this process is. In this instance, for me, it's always gonna be adding audio. So that's a little workaround. And the reason, like I said, the reason I've got this stationary up here is because I am streaming live right now to DLive. They're watching this right now with me. This is part of the live stream. It's because the daily vlog comes on when the daily vlog comes on. Today it's at four past five. I'm live right then. So that's the process. This thing retails for about 120 Australian. So maybe about, maybe about 70, 80 US dollars. They're pretty much standard. You can get them from anywhere. Just go on Google HDMI embedder slash de embedder and that's what you'll need to to get if if you wanted to do what i'm doing the only reason i'm doing it is because i need to take my source out of hdmi into live view solo and i need audio you can't stream without audio can you you can't that's how i do it fun times folks